I'm here with Casey Ung from New Force. New Force is not a very known brand in uh, France or around the world. Maybe you can introduce us uh, to this company. Sure. Um, New Force uh, was started uh, back in 2003. We started to develop uh, switching amplifier technology. We believe the new amplifier technology is in the switching amplifier. Uh, for example, this is a switching amplifier that is 300 watts and is very, very small. Uh, since then, we started shipping our first amplifier in 2005. We started coming to the CES in 2006, and this is our second year in the CES. Let me show you the P9 uh, pre-amplifier is our new product that we just introduced in this 2007 CES. The P9 has a very uh, well-designed remote control. It's a two-box design with uh, fantastic specification. The P9 um, can uh, reproduce DC to 2 megahertz with a distortion of less than three parts per million. So it's a very good spec. Yeah. Um, we're showing the prototype and you can see this is a motorized volume control that is following the, rem the digital volume control. Nice. And nice. when we turn the manual control, the digital follows. <laughs> nice. So this is a two-piece set? Uh, this is a two-piece set. The first piece has the house the power supply and the logic control. Mm -hmm. The second piece is for the analog signal. So there is no dirty or digital signal in the second yeah. box. You have a better uh, isolation. Yes, a perfect isolation way. between the two units. Also, the second box can be put away from the shelf. Okay. And you, you use this with your power amplifiers, but I know you have several amplifiers in your range. Yes. Um, we are showing today is the best amplifiers that we made is the Reference 9 SE. Uh, Reference 9 SE has received a very uh, highly regarded uh, review in France. Indeed. And what are the other products you have? Um, uh, we also have a full, um, smaller amplifiers such as our IA7 integrated amplifiers and reference 8.5 amplifiers and also the reference 9 amplifier. And what uh, price, ra price range? Yes, um, the, for example, the IA7 is a two channel 100 watt times two integrated M and it's in the US is about 1495. Okay. And the reference 8.5 in the U.S. is about 995. And the reference 9 is uh, $1,250. Okay. The SE is the more expensive. It's $2,100. For one piece? Well, for one piece, okay. yes. I see these strange little boxes on the speaker cables. What do they do? Yes. Uh, let me show you. This is our new loudspeaker called the S9. The very important design feature is that it features uh, Russian Baltic plywood design. So the speaker is constructed of multiple pieces of plywood stacked together. Mm -hmm. And to have the extreme performance, we put the crossover outside of the speaker. Oh, that's it. And we provide a special cable to connect from the crossover to the loudspeaker. Okay. How much for these babies? Yes, the retail price for the S9 loudspeaker is $5,500 a pair. Okay. And are they available now? Uh, yes, they have been shipping uh, since October of uh, 2006. But this is a v new uh, showing in the CES this year. Okay, I believe you can have five of these if you want to play in multi-channel audio. Do you have a multi-channel preamplifier? Uh, we have a multi-channel preamplifier called the AVP-16. Uh, it is not uh, brought to the CES this time. Okay. Uh, AVP-16 has been available for the last six months, and we have been shipping that. Okay. Well, Casey, thanks for the interview, and we wish you a very good year.
Thank you. Thanks for coming to the USA.